So we'll get into what I've been working over this last week. The video I put straight onto my the Black Sheep channel was taken down within four to six hours it felt like. I don't want to say why and I did mention at the beginning of that that I wanted UAP to live on stream and the guy that is back in now to take a brick or even a hard stone and take that blowtorch and melt it in front of us because now I've been waiting over two years for this experiment to be done so instead of just getting up there time and time again and talking out your asses I want you to perform your first ever experiment please so that's that we're back on the site that I looked at with you two, three weeks ago. This is a top view of it. I'm going to zoom right into it. We're, we're having a wider look. So looking at these steps, the main thing was how these blocks, suppose cut blocks at the sides are shaped like that. So you couldn't build anything with block shape like that could you because there's nothing stable there's nothing to stabilize them to keep them in place people will think that oh but well, they've dug a hole and then these blocks have been put in there it still wouldn't stay in place people it's been ex excavated like that i don't know how archaeologists will have found it obviously they've not done too much with the steps but i put it down to a crisscross framing section made out of whatever it was and then you pour some type of substance concrete into it and it holds it all together in my opinion archaeologists haven't done too much to the site in front of us because the crisscross sections are still lining up even with the circular outer structure to this thing so it looks like they've just dusted it off and left it as it was but in my opinion this is my opinion if you look uh, in the top part of this image you can see these tiny block square sections that we will be taught that they were rooms for storing pottery or something stupid. I've shown you videos in the past where when you see shapes like that, especially as small as that, we're basically looking at a collapsed structure here, right? Whether it was the higher floor or that's part of the roofing, you're looking at beaming, right? Whether it were concrete, you know, we rebar or wood. It's hard to say, but I just know the shapes of what we're looking at and what's left from a structure when it falls down. Uh, one of the best videos and discoveries that I ever made was showing you what these mounds were. Collapsed buildings, entire cities, and the mound sections were where the domes were, the tallest structures. That's what, in my opinion, we are looking at here. It's, there's no doubt about that, actually, because if you looked into the plans of how you would build a dome, whatever materials, the basic layout is framing, its structural supports is, if it laid flat on the floor, is what you're looking at. The shape of the center is something similar to what you would see at Gobekli Tepe, the light skylights, yes? Uh, and it helps keep the dome stable it's something solid at its center there probably were skylights uh, but the reason why this creek survived I've said this before is because it's all calcified mineralized from the flooding and the ash right from flooding and then it, it drying out because concrete today look all these skyscrapers we have will all have to be knocked down in 100 150 years this is a different site completely I know it looks similar and it is the most important part of the video looking down uh, at this thing here now what i was saying earlier if you look down the long section the shapes where i told you that they put it down poured concrete something like that into a crisscross pattern which holds it all in place i showed it in that video if you look down on this you can see it is so clear now when you look across this thing i'm not saying it look it looks like a huge cog section this circular part but it can't be because it's the exact same thing that i've just shown you i would love to sit here and say this is a petrified machine of some type it looks like that i just think it what went it's what went into building this thing right uh, this tower something will have sat on top of it a dome or whatever it was i don't know I'm just showing you how this thing was constructed and what it's calcified into now. 
It is just stunning. This is a different site, same sort of thing. Uh, you're just looking at the top part of something that managed to survive above well, everything else that's buried. Uh, moving down onto the lower part of this image, you can see how the, what archaeologists would call a room, a storage centre, you can see how it lays across the lower sections of a building, you know, there will have been multiple floors, most of which yet, yet to be ex excavated. It's actually the same thing as what's happened to this site, right? Take a look at that if you've not seen it before, because when you look down on this thing, you will see how it's laying diagonal it's sitting on across walls that it shouldn't be it's lying school with and now this final image will prove to you absolutely that that section there who knows how tall this thing was but that part of it fell down and crushed the wall that i'm showing you there so that shows you that the entire thing has collapsed and everything else is buried that's about the best thing that i could find on this particular site In my opinion, what you're looking at there, the darker intersection with the door frame, if it is a door, uh, is actually petrified wood. Most of you will understand what I'm saying there, it's like a lattice work, and it will have been covered over in something, okay? Uh, this image here, although if you look at the top left, which is the same site, it's just on a, a top view. Uh, the arrows are pointing out strange shapes. I mean, why are those shapes like that? Right? You know, you wouldn't be carving pieces of rock away in long ice cream cone shapes, would you? Obviously, it's the same thing I started with. It will have been poured into a crisscross pattern, so the whole wall, you know, you can build up and keep pouring it, and it all keeps itself together. That's the only way that I can explain those shapes there. I am finally going to finish with a correction on a few of my older videos which is in this playlist of three which is all my own discoveries. Um, I've got five which were to do with when I came out of mud fossils. The only ones I've kept are petrified bones giants and the imprints in mud rock of body parts right because I need to say this because I've only said it in comments sections flesh will never petrify into rock fluids body parts blood it just does not happen this is the only time i'm going to say it in words right you're only left with petrified bone and imprints of what surrounded the bone uh, all right so what we're looking at here I don't really know what I'm looking at, but he, I could easily put this stuff into my one of my playlists called The Final Jigsaw. Most of you will know what that's about, because that is what I think I am looking at here. Now, if you remember, in one of those giant videos, which one it appeared to be a mud fossil, what I believed in at the time of hand, a huge hand. You could see the knuckles the fingers and I showed you the back of it where the you know you've got two bones in your wrist that run down your arm and it even looked like that and that the bone had completely vanished in a process that Roger talks about right yeah but showing you the shapes I've just shown you that is what I think it is because again flesh will never petrify ever I'm glad that I've got that out and I'm glad that I've collected that